Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you a group node which I made to do the uh, to generate this Lorenz attractor or butterfly effect with animation nodes in the Blender. And if you search for this Lorenz attractor or butterfly effect, you will get these which are generated using this based on this Lorenz attractor. Or Lorentz system so we are going to solve these equations to get these to generate these figures with the animation nodes so it's also uh, known as a butterfly effect and it has these three parameters for different value of these parameter you will get this different results and it is highly sensitive to the initial conditions so we are going to solve these equations using Euler method Euler integration so it is very simple method to do integration so this is the formula of so First I will show you how to use this group node then I will break down this group node and show you different steps how how does it work you have to provide this initial vectors you can provide with this random vector node or using this vector wiggle node then plug this into this vector list and if you do that then based on this number of iterations or we can in more mathematically terms these are the number of iterations for the integration so if you increase the number of iterations it solve the these equations with the Euler methods for these number of steps so you get this output vectors and if we increase this uh, means provided two initial conditions we get two uh, vector lists they are combined into uh, this final vector list from this group node and using this multiple spline group node we can convert them into spline individually because uh, for each uh, this initial condition we have 500 vectors but they all are combined into a one list we have total for in this case we have two values we have total thousand uh, vectors and using this group node we can divide into 500 500 chunks and then we can convert them into a splines and so if I switch to render mode you can see these splines and you can also experiment with these three parameters which are the sigma rho and beta to get different results and you can also provide these initial vectors using this vector wiggle node because these vector are these vectors are changing with time so you will get this time dependent these splines maybe I have to increase the speed you have a different result on each frame And you can also use these vector to put uh, instance or to uh, objects on 
vector positions to get this figure something like this this figures with bunch of dots so now I will go to uh, this node network so in this group node I have written the written these equations in this form so I first split the uh, vector list into x, y and z and then write down these equations dx, dy and dz then combine this x, y, z into a vector into a vector list and then to a output group output okay. so if we provide this initial vectors it will give us a new vector based on these equations so so in this loop I am doing the Euler integration or this is the equation for Euler integration so this group node which is these equations is solving this part of this integration and then I add this newly calculated vector based on these equations into our initial vector and we complete this right hand side of these equations and we get the this total vector combined vector and then we reassign the vector list of this vector list or reinitialize this vector list with this newly vec calculator vector list and I am also taking this vector list out from this loop for convert them splines or we can also use this vector to put different objects at these locations as I said for two in this case for two initial conditions we have thousand vectors so we have to separate these vectors into 500 or 500 chunks so that we can do with this slice list so number of uh, this this number of steps is is the total number of this initial conditions which are two in this case and by offsetting the start we can get the 500 500 initial ve uh, vectors for uh, individual initial conditions means if, if start is zero it gave uh, the first 500 vectors from this total vector list for first initial condition and when this start is 1 then it will give the next 500 vectors for next uh, for the second initial condition then I convert these vectors into splines and then using this curve object we can convert the splines into curves so these are the steps to solve these equations and to make this Lorentz attractor or butterfly effect with the animation nodes if you increase the number of iterations large splines 10,000 if you give the 6 initial conditions it will give you 6 splines you can also use this vehicle vector node to get this time dependent behavior of these splines so so that's it I have provided this group node also for blender 2.79 you can also use for blender 2.79 and if you like this tutorial please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more updates and you can also follow me on Twitter or Instagram for more updates. So happy noding. Bye.